Baller Nation, it's your girl Miss Jenny B and you're watching Ball Over. With the weather cooling down and the holiday season approaching, it's officially time to start planning for cupping season. And with that being said, one of the best ways to prep and select your new bay for cupping season is none other than the old faithful Netflix and chill. But if you decide to take this season off and just live the single life for a little bit, you can even cozy up on your couch by yourself and binge watch some of Netflix events. Either way, we got you covered, okay? So let's get into the video. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this list is not in any order, it's just a list. So number one is 13 Reasons Why. Now this show is very important in this day and age with everything involving suicide and bullying and school and things like that. And that's exactly what the show is about. It focuses on the effects of bullying in high school. When I actually first watched the show, I was thinking like, that's just regular high school stuff, but that doesn't make it right, number one. Number two, everybody's not always built to withstand the same struggles, so you can never look down on somebody for what they're going through. But I digress. The show premiered in 2017 on Netflix and follows the story of a young girl who committed suicide and left behind 13 tapes explaining why she took her own life. It's executive produced by Selena Gomez and season two just dropped in May and it follows the aftermath of the suicide and the tape. So if you're into teen dramas or mysteries, the series will be great for you and your potential boom to binge watch. Okay? Number two, seven seconds. Now this show was actually like all over the internet when it premiered in February with 10, 10 episodes. I think that makes it a limited series, but it's a crime drama that explores the aftermath of a hit and run of a 15 year old black boy. Now, it also explores the themes of racism, prejudice, and police corruption, basically everything that is going on in the country right now. And I think that's why it was so huge at the time when it came out. So if you haven't seen it, you need to check it out ASAP. Okay, so the first two were a little heavy, but number three is Shameless, and it's honestly one of my favorites. Now, this show is adapted from the British series of the same name, and if I was the life of a drunk, father of six in the south side of Chicago. It kicked off in 2011 and its ninth season is set to premiere on September 9th, which means you have plenty of time to watch one through eight on Netflix by the time season nine is done. And when it's finished, you can watch season nine when it gets to Netflix too. So trust me, it's a hot mess express, but I can't get enough of it, so check it out. Number four. Dexter. Now, this is an oldie, but goodie. Dexter premiered on Showtime in 2006 and ended in 2013, but I watched it maybe three times ago, because it's that good. It follows a man named Dexter Morgan, who's a forensic technician who specializes in blood spatter for the Miami Police Department. It's actually Miami Metro, but that's a made-up police department, so it's just Miami Police, regardless. Miami police, who cares? But he also doubles as a serial killer who kills murderers that basically slip through the cracks of justice. When they're like investigating a crime and they can't find the murderer, then Dexter goes and basically kills them and chops their bodies up into millions of pieces and spreads them across Miami. It's crazy. Like there's also some comic relief in the show and some other weird scenarios. Like I'm not exactly sure if Dexter's sister was into him or not, but watch it and let me know what you think because that's been on my mind for a few years now. Number five, Orange is the New Black. Now, I haven't watched the show in a while. Like, I'm a few seasons behind, but I felt like it would be a sin if I left this off the list. Orange is the New Black is a hilarious comedy drama web TV series based on Piper Kerman's memoir about her experience at a low security federal prison. This series was once named Netflix's most watched original series, so if you haven't caught on by now, you're late. Number six. Okay. 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 I know what you're about to say. I know. Just give me a chance with this one, okay? Now, men, if you're watching this, I know. I know what you are thinking, but just hear me out. Just hear me out. Don't sleep. This show is a classic. Your girl will love it, and so will you. Gossip Girl.
Girl is about several privileged prep school teenagers in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, New York that deal with rich people problems and sex and drugs and alcohol and Gossip Girl spills the beans and shares all the scandals with the attack message. But it sounds like drama and I love it. I've seen this series at, at least twice. So you need to check it out too, okay? Don't sleep. Number seven. I just came across this show maybe a week or two ago and I haven't stopped watching it since. Created by the hilarious Tina Fey, this show premiered in 2015 and followed the life of a 29 year old woman who spent the last 15 years held captive in a bunker. Sounds crazy, right? It is. When she's finally rescued from the doomsday cult, basically the guy told them that the world ended, now she has to try to adjust um, living, the li living life in New York City. But a lot has changed in the last 15 years. The girl was 15 when she left. Now she's 29 and the world is completely different. The show has been nominated for 18 primetime Emmy Awards, if that means anything to you. But if my opinion means anything, it's hilarious. So go watch it, okay? I don't know about you, but I love a good comedy. So number eight, I put Marlon. Though the show comes on NBC, they recently struck a deal with Netflix. So both seasons are already on um, the website for you to binge watch. It stars Marlon Wayans and is loosely inspired by his life. The show follows the loving and immature father who's co-parenting with his level-headed wife, ex-wife in this day and age. He's like a YouTuber and she is a uh, interior designer. It gives me blackish vibes with its own little flavor. So. Check it out, let me know what you think of it. Number nine, Ozark. I just got into this show and let me tell you, it is crazy. Now if you're looking to use Netflix and chill session for something other than Netflixing and chilling, then this series may be a little difficult to follow, but either way, it needs to be on your must watch list because it's bomb. Ozark follows the story of a financial planner who relocates his family to the Ozark to move money for a Mexican drug lord. All he wants to do is keep his family safe, but things always take a turn for the worse. Season two just premiered last month, so it's a perfect time to start binge watching so you can talk about it with all your friends. Now, number 10. Okay, so for 10, I have a bunch of honorable mentions that should have been on your list years ago, but I just want to help you get with the program. One, The People vs. OJ. Two, Grey's Anatomy. Three, Sons of Anarchy. We, Guanaco. Bates Motel, which features Rihanna in the final season. Black Mirror, Stranger Things, and the list goes on. But what I want to know is what you think. I want to know what your favorite shows on Netflix to binge watch are. I want to know what shows you've watched over and over and over and over again. And I want to know which shows were okay and what shows you didn't like on my list. Let's have a discussion. Let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll do a part two with your suggestions.